Welcome from the Liberty Enthusiasts. The global beta is near. It's on the 18th this month already. And I want to give you the best beta experience. So I listed here the best weapon combinations from the Korean server that it will allow you to smoothly reach the end game, be able to test the dungeons and all of that. So you can actually make up your mind to decide if you want to play the game for full or not. And in here we will cover the full Holy Trinity from tank, DPS to healer. And we are starting with the tank. If you're interested in playing a full tank build and being the solo tank in dungeons, then the combination of sword and shield paired with a wand will be your way to go. While the sword and shield is providing you with the necessary defense values and evasion, the wand will give you access to healing abilities to help with your sustain during longer fights. If you want to level up a tank, there's two viable options. The most popular one is an AoE tank that's using the regular sword and shield as any tank, but is pairing it with the great sword to gain access to multiple AoE skills. If you rather level 1v1, you will pair the sword and shield with a dagger to gain access to the best 1v1 passives and some nice burst damage skills. Now let's go over the different weapon combinations that damage dealers can use. One being the combination of straight sword and dagger that is differing from the tank option of the build by being able to level slightly faster due to the higher possible damage output. But it's also significantly harder to play because you are lacking all the defensive mechanics and you will need to kite a whole lot more. The second option is 1v1 and it's being played with a dagger lombo combination, allowing for really high burst with the necessary CC to survive as a class cannon. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion needed. Currently 98.9% .9 of the people watching my videos are not subscribed. Even though we are reaching nice view numbers of up to 20k and sometimes almost close to 400 likes. So I would like to offer you a deal. You watch this video all the way to the end and if you learned something new in this guide you have to subscribe. As range DPS there's three viable options. With the most popular one being longbow and staff, it's currently the best PvE farming build for events and such due to its high range nature of the build and high DPS output. The best option to solo farm dungeons you will currently find in the combination of crossbow and dagger. It's the highest single target DPS currently on the game due to the mechanic allowing for extra hits off your offhand weapon which scales like crazy. By the way, this is also my personal class in Korea, my main class, and if you prefer dungeon farming over endless hours of mob grinds, I would suggest picking a crossbow dagger in the better and probably maybe for also for the release of the game. The last DPS combination I want to mention is the longbow and crossbow combination which allows for a slightly lower damage output as the crossbow dagger version, but benefits from a higher range which makes it a lot easier to kite monsters and is therefore less gear dependent. To complete the holy trinity we now need to talk about the healers. I don't want to hide that healers in general are currently a bit underbalanced and they are not required at all at any of the lower content. But for the end game, it's a must have to equip your dungeon teams with a permanent healer and for PvP I would even go so far that it's the most important role. A good team of healers will improve your guild PvP tremendously. The most popular versions are Staff and Wand and Longbow and Wand. They both benefit from a decent range that allows you to heal inside of your own forces while still being able to apply some chip damage and CCs from the back rows. And this playstyle also makes it a lot easier for your teammates to protect you while healing. If you have any questions regarding the weapon combos, let me know in the comments and I will answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers guys.